Good morning, Canada. My name is Jane Scarf, and I'm coming to you from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And I want to tell you about uh, an event planned by Lynn Brooks. Um, she has a group called um, Canadian Women for Freedom, and she's called for um, uh, all of us to show up at Parliament Hill on the opening of Parliament and make some requirements of the government. And she's written it up in the form of a letter, and that letter will be served to the Parliament on that day. And we're hoping to get all the people that support these, these uh, demands, basically, um, to, to join us there, to fill the hill. And that would be all women, men, and children. So here goes the letter. We, the free residents and guests of this democratic country called Canada, gather here in Ottawa and around the country to share our united voice in disapproval of the Trudeau administration's violation of our human rights and fundamental freedoms. We require that the government of Canada and its representatives respect our fundamental rights and freedoms given to us by our charter, but sorry, by our creator, by God, by the source of all life, which has been written in our Canadian Bill of Rights under section 1A, the right of the individual to life, liberty, security of person, and enjoyment of property, and not to be deprived thereof except by due process of law. B, the right of the individual to equality before the law and the protection of the law, and C, freedom of religion, D, freedom of speech, E, freedom of assembly and association, F, freedom of the press. We require that no government, politician or person tells another person what they must do with their body. We require that the government of Canada end all mandates, restore all lo jobs lost, and encourage all corporations and institutions to follow suit. We require that Government of Canada and its representatives protect our fundamental rights and freedoms so that so, so this or any other governing body cannot abuse their power. We <clears throat> require that the Government of Canada and its representatives com, uh, conduct themselves according to the rule of law and hold themselves accountable to the law and the people they represent. We require that the government of Canada and its representatives retain the sovereignty of this country and its citizens by not allowing a global influence or takeover. We require that the government of Canada and its representatives conduct an open and transparent forensic audit audit hearing of the government's uh, declared pandemic response. We require accountability from, from all leaders and authorities, healthcare professionals, police and media who lied, misled, <clears throat> and abused their position in the enhancement of the government declared pandemic protocols. We require the government of Canada and the Arrive Can app. We require that if it is determined by the Joint Committee on the Invocation of the Emergency Act that um, if they find that there was no grounds to bring, bring the act in because the truckers' convoy was peaceful, and if they found the invocation did not have approval of federal cabinet, and three, our uh, human rights and fundamental freedoms were violated, with the use of violence to shut down uh, the peaceful protest. Charges must be laid against uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Deputy Minister uh, Christine uh, Freeland, Krista Freeland, um, Minister of uh, Parliament um, William Blair, Member of Parliament Marco uh, Men uh, Mendicini, and Minister of Justice and Attorney General of Canada, David Lamenti. We strongly and respect respectfully require that the Government of Canada <clears throat> and its representatives to consider the million, 
millions of citizens that are suffering from the actions of the current government and be present and have an open dialogue with the residents of Canada with respect and honesty <clears throat> pertaining to the above mentioned requirements. So if you support these, these requirements, uh, please attend on September 19th, uh, the opening day of Parliament at 12 noon. And uh, it's gonna be fa family friendly. Uh, we're not gonna have uh, a stage and speakers. Everybody can just come and, 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 and interact how they choose. Uh, people will be setting up, uh, like Stand for Thee, for example, we'll, we'll have a stand there and we'll be giving information out about Trudeau for Treason. There'll be medical professionals and truckers and uh, any other uh, uh, focus of, of these concerns. Uh, they, you can come with your material and pass out the material. And uh, Lynn is even okay with, uh, if you bring a speaker, if you want to talk to like a small group around your, your, uh, your, your, your uh, material. So we hope to see you there. We want to make a strong voice. And this, this is a unique way to rally because normally you have a stage and you have a set number of speakers and they're speaking to the choir, right? You're not really even addressing the government. This one is addressing the government in a unified voice. So if you come, it's because you support these, these uh, requirements and it'll show like in the numbers. So, uh, and there's other events, there's a worldwide rally on the 17th and then Lynn has planned a vigil for vaccine injury on the 18th and then there'll be this event on the 19th on the Monday. So you might want to make a little bit of holiday for it before this, uh, you know, before uh, winter sets in, so to speak. So that would be Saturday, Sunday and Monday. And uh, we hope to see you there and, you know, bring your picnic basket and uh, we're going to do it up. Okay. And if you want any more information, please contact me at MJS Legal Services at yahoo.com and I'm going to put a copy of this requirement letter in the, the uh, comments. Please distribute it widely, invite people and, and let's do it up. We had a, an event um, not last week and weekend before with regard to the uh, signing, uh, like the anniversary of signing of the Canadian Bill of Rights and it was wonderful, you know, to meet and connect with, with a group of people that share the same, um, you know, uh, whatever view of the world, basically. And uh, it, it was very uplifting. And then last week, I, I attended, uh, uh, I guess you want to call it a rally at the RCMP on Saturday with regard to the issue of informed consent. And that was so moving also. And the people there were just awesome. And uh, the speakers were, were very, very uh, uh, inspiring. And uh, I, I, was, I felt privileged to have been there. And uh, oh, she also, she's, she wants to have, um, like, uh, like, like Rebecca and I will be uh, giving information about, about trust, uh, Trudeau for Treason. And uh, she wants to have a doctor. We have uh, one woman in mind, but we haven't reached her yet to she was she was fired or lost her license for giving out exemptions for vax vaccinations and for masks and so we would like her there to you know give that medical professional um, standpoint brian dirksen who was a trucker all through the convoy he had his truck there on bank street and he's never left he doesn't have his truck anymore but he's he's never left and he's up on parliament hill every day He's going to be there to uh, give information about the convoy and what is still going on with regard to the convoy. It's not over. And uh, we have a whole, uh, uh, we're hoping James Bowder will be there. We're inviting him. He, but he's from Calgary. He's very busy, so I'm not sure if we can get him up. But uh, he, he's uh, one of the truckers that was an, was a, an actual organizer, like an in initiator. And uh, he's been charged with a number of criminal charges regarding the convoy, but he's doing self-representation and doing a beautiful job. And he's joining with other people and preparing. He's very organized, very focused. And now they're starting to drop those charges. And I think it's because they're, they're afraid that these, these courtroom um, 
trials would be uh, a venue for exposing that the emergency act was brought in illegally because of course that would be their defense it, it was an unlawful order because it was an unlawful, unlawful declaration of the emergency act because the protest was peaceful and no violence and no threat or risk or har of harm to the to the uh, community so uh, there's still a lot of stuff going on um, with with regard to uh, following up with with this so uh, we hope to see you there on uh, September 19th and I just want to leave you with this uh, reminder hashtag we got this got lots of stuff going on people are becoming aware taking a stand uh, even even uh, like multitude of, of people who took the vax and now it's kind of deepened like what the hell are they doing it had no benefit and it put me at high risk and then everybody uh, knows somebody that had a serious injury or death like that I don't even know I hardly know anybody that even got COVID I knew a couple I know more I know more and know of more people who got serious injury or death uh, with the vax so that's uh, that's that's really bad and when I say it, people that have had COVID I don't even know anybody that died or had any permanent injury from it I had it Rebecca had it but we just it was like a flu and uh, my age and I have diabetes and I'm overweight so those factors I think uh, gave me a little bit like more of an impact but I had 10 day symptoms and about a month to recover like my energy like big whoopee dip I'm gonna take a, a vaccination that's gonna risk a permanent health injury or death so I won't get that and and I know there is a minuscule risk of death but the risk of death is higher in my view with the vax than with with COVID anyways I didn't mean to get into a medical discussion so I'll leave that for now and I'll remind you one more time Hashtag, we got this. Please help distribute this this uh, requirement letter, because this this could be their their uh, uh, their downfall. You know, when people this is this is, I I really like Lynn Lynn uh, Brooks wrote this, and I really love it because it it brings all of the different issues together in the same document because they affect us all, but people are are focusing on different different areas to try and rectify different areas. But this one brings it all together. So, uh, and it's it's still, we're all individuals up there. Like there's no, it's not, you don't have to join a group or you don't have to be, you know, so there's no, there's no, uh, you know, group identification on, on the handout. So you can uh, hand it out um, as, as a sovereign individual that's not a member of a group that agrees with these, these requirements of the government. Anyways, that's it.